okay? We want peace, equality, and most of all, no crappy kid yelling racist stuff at my son while he's trying to learn about stars. Someone told Alex to go back to another country as though he doesn't belong in this one. Do you know how screwed up that is for a 13-year-old boy? I don't even know what to tell him. When I think about love, I see myself someday loving a woman. I'm just not sure I want to go to church. Maybe ever again. So when people tell me, be happy, you have a great life, that makes me feel like garbage because I know. I came out while you were gone and I was just waiting for the right time to tell you. You're just confused. I mean, you're 15. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. I pray. I seek forgiveness. And I am so glad that that gives you comfort, but that doesn't mean that God exists, okay? I'm sorry. Does this happen at school? No. Just a couple times when I'm out. Once at a baseball game, the other team was leaving on their bus. He saw me and yelled, build the wall. Things have never been better between my daughter and me, and now I can't get her out of bed. Your life is full of blessings. I know, mommy, believe me, I know. Please. Could you just leave me alone? I wish I could take away her pain and feel it for myself. That is what mothers are for. When you were deployed, I went to church every day. And I prayed that he would keep you safe. You taught me a really valuable lesson. Just because I'm gay, people will hate me without knowing anything else about me. I know racism's a thing, but we live in L.A. It doesn't happen here. It happens here. And yeah, maybe just a dirty look. Or someone saying, keep your voice down, which we all know is code for Latinos are too loud. I always knew that was part of the deal. I just... I never expected it from my own father. But now, I know not to expect the best from anyone. So thanks. Yeah, and ever since somebody decided to call an entire group of Latinos rapists and criminals, Everyone thinks they can say whatever racist thought occurs to them. So don't you tell me about God. I know that God exists. I want to be on a drug for the rest of my life. I shouldn't have to eat it. And when I do stumble, I have the most amazing mom who's always right there to pick me up. I got you. Mommy, I am glad that you find comfort in church. I just find it in different places. And who you are is Cuban and American. And mostly a sweet kid who doesn't hurt people. You do what you need to do to fix yourself. And I will be here for you. Thank you, Mommy.